like, what is this? I am not from here. And I see stuff like this all the time. Is that cotton? <laughs> like, you know, you zoom in. Is that cotton? What the heck is that? What kind of flower is that? What kind of bush is that? I don't know what that is. What's up? What's up, y'all? It's Tiffany Shanice, and I am going to vlog today about for one i hate the term baby mama <laughs> so but we're gonna talk about baby mama versus a single mom for one baby mom is a derogatory term um i hated it from the beginning even before i was a parent i hated the term baby mom because it just brings such ghetto into the name you know like i'm from the ghetto but i don't act ghetto unless you know some shit comes up and I have to you know what I'm saying like I have to get with it but other than that like I just don't like it because it just brings such like negative like outlooks to that person when you don't even know nothing about that person so um yeah I hate the word baby mom um when I was pregnant I told her father don't call me baby mom like please just <laughs> never call me a baby mom because it's just so so negative you know like it's just so negative the differences so I put myself in the category of having you know I'm a single mom is what I call myself um, other people of course will call me a baby mom um, people that don't know my story or you know just period like I am a baby mom you know but I am a mother you know so I would like for people to call me a mother um, single mom is um, someone without a lot of help single mom is um she's doing it on her own you know um a single mom isn't really worried about their ex-partner because they came to understanding and they came to an agreement within themselves that that relationship was toxic so they wanted to move forward and moving forward with a child they understand their responsibilities so i'm a single mom i feel i i stand in a category of single mom um a lot of my friends, they're also single moms too. And me knowing their story, I put them in the category of single mom. I know a lot of baby moms, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of baby moms, but I usually don't hang around a lot of baby moms because it's just so much energy, so much negative energy, you know, like so much, so much anger. Being um, a bitter baby mom, they worry about stuff like, um, going out like i don't really care to go out as much because i know that i got responsibilities i gotta take care of like yeah of course i want to go out and have a couple of drinks sometimes but bitter baby moms are like trying to club and like trying to find a babysitter every weekend and worrying about you know their ex-partners um new relationships and stuff you know like doing subs and stuff like on social media like oh, I will always be around and stuff like that. Like, bruh, we know you're always going to be around. We know that you have this kid, you feel me? But you don't need to be, you know, doing all that. Like, it's how you act. You know, when you first become pregnant and you first become, you know, when you first have your, your child, you right then and there need to figure out which one you're going to be. And how you act is how you become in the category you're definitely going to be in some kind of category if you guys wasn't married um so if you wasn't married as soon as you have your baby you're going to fall into one of those categories it sucks because i know that's probably not what you was thinking when you know you became pregnant but it's life you feel me so you know with those life lessons you just need to move forward so as soon as you have your baby or as soon as you become pregnant which category are you going to be in and I chose to be in the <laughs> single one. Like, I've I've had my moments where, you know, I was like, yo, like, I feel like I'm acting like a, a you know, a bitter baby mom because I'm arguing with the dad about helping me with stuff, you know? But then after, you know, you realize and after time, you know, passes, you think like, this is just my life. I have to deal with it. Like, you know, like, this is my responsibility, period. You know what I'm saying? So um 
bitter argues about you know what happens in the baby moms argue about like what happened in their relationship like you know um you did this to me you did that to me um you never there for your kid um i'm gonna go to your house fuck up all your shit you know like that's that's the that's the a baby mom right there <laughs> a single mom is just like yo like fuck i gotta take on another job I gotta find a babysitter, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is she gonna eat tonight? You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta make a way. A single mom is like, I gotta make a way. A baby mom is just like, well, you know, your child support is this, and, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, child support is not not a bad thing if you have it, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you need it, if you need the help, take it. But, um, you know, yeah, like, a a bit a bitter baby mom is just you know someone that wants to argue all the time you know that wants to fight about everything it's just like girl let the hurt go let the hurt go it wasn't meant it wasn't meant for y'all to be together you know it wasn't meant for y'all to stay in each other's life so you both have this beautiful blessing just move on with it you know um also sacrificing um a single mom sacrifice a lot and I don't think they get, we get enough credit for all the stuff that we go through being a single mom, especially in this generation in 2018, almost 2019. It is really hard to, you know, um, make your way just period. Without a kid, it's just, it's hard to make your way. Um, the, that amount of money we're making is not covering like all of our bills, you know, nowadays. So having a kid, having to feed a kid, having to take care of a kid, plus yourself it's super super hard um sacrificing ba like baby mom sacrifice too you know but um we sacrifice a lot we sacrifice peace of mind we sacrifice sleep we sacrifice sometimes like i know there's a lot of times i had to call out of work because i didn't have the right utensils i needed for life to you know make it um, I've caught out a lot, work a lot, <laughs> like, I didn't have a babysitter, you know, like, and then I didn't have the money to, you know, pay the babysitter, so I was, like, trying to figure out, like, I was writing down, like, how much I was making, you know, I was a dealer, so I was, like, writing down all the money I was making and how, you know, the bills and how, like, to reorganize the bills and stuff like that, it's just, it's really a lot, you have to sacrifice going out, um, sometimes you're too tired to go out, like, your friends are like, hey, let's go out, you know, and you're just like, bro, like, the, the kid is the kid is away i just need some sleep you know um yeah you sacrifice that sometimes you don't got the money to go out you know what i'm saying you're like yo we needed food you know like i can eat twice a day i can eat one big meal a day but my kid over here is growing you know what i'm saying like she's growing and i want to make sure she has the right nu nutrition you know to make it in life so you know, you got to sacrifice stuff like that. Like, okay, I want my nails done. I haven't had my nails done for like five months. This is my first time getting my nails done. And that's because I have to sacrifice. You know, like, I love being pretty. I love, you know, feeling pretty. You know, I love feeling like, you know, just pretty. But you don't got the money for it. You know what I'm saying? You Single moms realize, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't got the money for it. Like, what's important? What do I need to pay off that's important? You know, baby moms are like, look son like i need my hair done i need you to give me some money your kid needs some money for these diapers and then they're going to go spend that money on fucking 22 inches i don't even know how y'all can wear that for one 22 inch hair and shit like you know what i'm saying like passing your butt i don't know what the, what the length is but you know getting their hair done you know makeup done going to professionals to get their makeup done and their nails done and always looking fly but their kid over there with a snotty nose that's a baby mom right there that is a baby mom right there because a single mom and a good mom will make sure that their baby is taken care of more than they are there's been plenty of times that i've seen people that i've known that people probably can vouch for me where i'm just walking off the house like right now look look <laughs> I got on my house shoes. <laughs> I got on my house shoes because I had to rush out the house to take her to school, you know? Um, she wanted to sit there and eat for like 30 minutes. And I'm like, yo, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. But we sacrifice stuff like that, you feel me? Like, um, there's been a lot of times I just looked at busted, but Jay, she looked real good, you know what I'm saying? Like, and another thing, like, 
I feel like a baby mom, um, they care about like, you know, um, name brands and stuff like that. Like my baby needs to have this, my baby needs to have that, my baby like, no. As long as your baby has the right mental, as long as you're teaching your kid how to be successful in life, you know, like all the stuff that you, you thought, you know what I'm saying, like that you would want to know as a kid or, you know, like that you wish you knew. You should be teaching your kid that, you know what I'm saying? So she can be, she or he can be better than you. Not trying to be fly, like, okay, like, yeah, okay. I want Jalen to be fly. Of course, you know, every mom wants their kid to be fly. But that was never really my thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, every once in a while, you know, I dress up and stuff like that. But she's a kid. She's going to get them, them Jordans dirty, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's going to get that, that polo shirt dirty, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then, like... So I would rather go to the store and buy like 12 shirts and with that polo, you know, with that polo money, like this will last longer than this polo shirt. So I'm going to go get that instead. Like, and then on a special occasion, like, you know, maybe, you know, Christmas or maybe um, her birthday or something, she can wear something extravagant to where all eyes are on her. She looks good. Um, yeah, like a, sing a single mom just does what she can, you know, a bitter baby mom is just angry. I don't have any time to be angry and you should neither. Like, like I said, it's already hard out here. It's already, it's already hard, hard out here for pimp. You feel me? Like it's hard out here for us. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, like me and my baby dad is cool. We're cool now. Like it took us a while to get there, but we're actually, um, becoming on the terms and, also another thing like um being a bitter baby mom is like um they don't want any relations with the the woman in the man's life and I'm just like oh you got a new girlfriend when can we meet like she's gonna be around her okay when can we meet I mean his um me and his girlfriend is actually cool we went to high school together um she's actually like we're actually cool she's you know she betters him so I'm like, she, she's good for the team. You feel me? Like, she's good. Like, she has kids too, so she understands. And she's also a single mom too. So, you know what I'm saying? She understands me. So I'm like, okay. Y'all relationship is y'all relationship. You know what I'm saying? I wish y'all luck. I wish, you know, you know, help them out. <laughs> but um, when Jalen is involved is when I get involved. When Jalen... Um, has concerns then I have concerns you know what I'm saying like that's the only time we really talk you know what I'm saying like if Jalen needs something and I can't get into contact with him or you know what I'm saying he's in his he has an attitude or something she'll hit me up and then me and her have a conversation about it and then it either gets solved or we don't and that's it and we move on you know um bitter also they they worry about like what happened in their relationship like it's it's, it's gone like oh you doing this for her oh you doing that for her you wasn't doing that for you need to worry about me you know me and um your baby like he don't need to worry about you no more honey like y'all not together he don't need to worry about you he don't need to help you out you know what i'm saying like well he needs to help y'all like say if the, the baby is living with you then i say like okay like he can help you out with a bill you know what i'm saying like you didn't have this baby by yourself she's staying under you she's sleeping under your roof you're feeding her he can help out that's not being a baby that's not being a bitter baby mom that is not being a bitter baby mom you need help he helped you with this baby he helped you conceive this baby he can help you out that is not being bitter i don't i don't know maybe maybe um i'm wrong on that aspect but no i'm not wrong on that aspect because if i still have to go to work i still have to take her to her doctor's appointments and i have to pay her medical bills and stuff like that you can help me out son like Mm -mm. stop that um yeah like I said like I know a lot of single moms and I think the rate is becoming higher in 2018 because people don't believe in marriage nowadays so um it's just how you how you handle yourself pretty much you know like it's how it's how angry you are that's how you you know you become a, a bitter baby mom don't be angry <laughs> don't be angry like let the hurt go sis let the hurt go 
and move on. Just know your responsibilities and try to figure it out. Try to try to try to have a little, you know, um, team behind you because you know you can't raise a kid alone. Um, well, yeah, you can, but it's really hard. Trust me, it's really hard. Um, yeah, it's really hard raising a kid by yourself. But and I've there's been times where I'm just like over it you know like oh like what like how like how am I supposed to survive you know doing all of this you know and you just have to realize that um you cannot take care of a kid if you're not healthy if you understand what I'm saying you cannot you cannot mentally take care of a kid you can go through the functions you can go through all the functions in life like feeding your kid making sure they get up you know stuff, stuff like that like okay that's just being a mom but being a great mom, um, you can't be unhealthy and raise a kid. You have to take care of yourself first. Remember that. That's key. Take care of yourself first because you cannot give your all to that kid if you don't have nothing to give. And another thing um, I wanted to say. You can be a single mom and... Or a single parent, as I, sh I should say, because I know that there's a lot of single dads out there, too. And kudos to y'all, because y'all are not meant to be, nur you know, nurturing. And the fact that you guys are being nurturing and taking care of your responsibilities as a man, like, you deserve a happy life. You deserve, you deserve a wife that's going to come and help you out, like, like. I love seeing single dads that like are really on their shit, you know, but um, you can be like namaste, you know, you can be all peace, you know, have peace inside yourself and the other partner be bitter and um, the other partner, you know, bitter and just seeing stuff about you to bring you down, you know, bring you down about your, your parents, your parenting and nowadays you know like i said it's 2018 and almost 2019 it's really it's really easy to point fingers you know and it's really easy to pass judgment on a person because of what you're seeing online and um that has happened to me a lot and um i've seen other people like that too you know like passing judgment on other people because of what they see online um my best advice for that is to try to stay away you know what i'm saying like um i fell for it a couple times to where i'm like you know what i gotta prove a point you know like i gotta prove that i'm not i'm not this person that you know he was making me out to see you know i gotta prove that i'm not bitter i'm not i gotta prove that i am a good mom so i i find myself like posting pictures or like or if I see like if somebody like screenshot or like send it to me like what he said about me and stuff like that I'd be like okay and I'm about to I, I get on Facebook and I'm like typing my fingers away like I need to tell everybody how it really is and what really went down and you know who who does this and who does that you know and I'm like I'm going at it and then I like find myself getting hot hot like and angry and like Ugh. then I realize like I type everything and I read it and I realize like why are you stepping out of character? Like, why do you have to prove to everybody who you are? You know, like, um, like, they're not helping you out, you know? Like, why does it matter what they think about you? You know what I'm saying? Like, the people that know you, know you. You know, they know who you are. And they know what kind of person you are. Like, what amazing person you are. They know how Jalen is. You know what I'm saying? Like, the people that's in her life really knows how she is. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, I would just say, you know, steer, stay clear, stay level-headed, you know, like, realize what you do, realize what you do, and don't be that person, don't, don't fall into the category, don't, they're, they're fishing, they're fishing for you to fall into that category, and, um, that's when you just need to stay strong, that's when you need to just realize what you do, and realize that, that kid is all that matters you know what i'm saying that kid is um is who love you you know that kid opinion is the only opinion that matters anymore so you know her love tells me everything i need to know about myself her love her, her education her being smart her being loving you know everybody love her 
you know, her teachers are saying she's wonderful. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to realize who you are and what category you fall into and what category you want to be, you know what I'm saying? And I realized that since I'm not a wife, I'm going to be the best mom that I can be. So I fall under the category of being a mother, period. So what category do you fall under?